<laughs> all right what's going on guys today we're in a whole different vehicle we are in a honda accord wagon uh trees wagon actually so today we're going to be doing a steering removal and we're going to be putting a quick release hopefully it does work we haven't tried it on yet obviously we haven't got this guy off but just kind of going over it really quick you do need to get a few tools so right now we have the Torx bit uh 30 and also we have a phillips a screwdriver to remove a few screws and stuff so we're going to start off first by removing these screws inside here so it's going to be that one up there and that one down there and then once you release those phillips you're going to have a plastic cover here and then on the bottom side there's going to be a few more screws you got to unscrew there so once you unscrew all the screws you can go in with the e30 and get this ratchet of yours half inch or three, three, three fourths. Not that half inch. That half inch are bigger. Three four screwdriver bit and that little shiny gold one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bad boy. Of course, before you do start this, always make sure that your battery is unplugged and like has been unplugged for a little bit, so you don't get no electricity to blow up the airbag on you. Cause that's not gonna be any fun. So let me see here. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. I just have to. <laughs> All right, so it's just enough to get off my hand, and we should be able to pull this thing off. There we go. That was easy. So now we have to do the scary part disconnecting the cable right here but once we do remove this and we're gonna get our I believe this is like a 15 and knock this guy out so I'll get you guys and I get the nut on there and get this guy loosened up all right so digging into this first size first time actually even grabbing a socket I know it said 14 I mean 15 prior prior but I, I honestly grabbed the 14 right now on my bag it was the only one that I had and just with a little bit of a yank and pink getting it right off now we don't want to take it off all the way, we just want to leave it on slightly so we can give it a couple bangs to try to get it off or pull. There we go. So now we can actually go ahead and get this thing off. And the reason why you want to leave the thing screwed on there, just a little bit obvious reasons. If you were to bang or pull this <laughs> with a lot of force, this thing's going to come towards your head. So don't do that. Just keep the nut on there a little bit. And now with a little bit more of a wiggle and jiggle, we should be able to get this off. Now remembering where the wheel is at, we don't want to mess up his steering. So this is pretty straight, right? Would you say it's straight? Yeah. Good. Gucci, Gucci, Lama Chuchi. So now we're just going to carefully remove this guy, even though this comes off a little wiggly. It's totally fine because that is not being moved. Now we are going to have to remove the wheel and uh, some plastic trim afterwards. So let's do that right now. So now with this one guys, you are going to have a total of one, two bigger screws that are going to be up here. So don't be yanking your dash panels off, especially you want to keep these for later on. But right here, you're going to have one, two, and three smaller ones that are going to go into the bottom area. So one's going to go right here. The other two are going to screw in two right here, this little guy, number one and number two. So that's where they're going to be screwing into. So just keep those tabs in mind. Then after that, carefully pull the plastic piece off. Now you're going to be exposed with this junction of a thing. And we're basically going to be screwing off these screws right over here to take the wheel off. And then also take a few other accessories off. Because we're going to be removing this completely because you said your thing doesn't work, right? Nope. So there's no need to keep the wiring. It's for the horn. We have to figure out that along the line, which is this one. This is going to be for the horn. And then this one's for cruise control and for the airbag. So we're going to just take this guy out now. And then we will probably do it on camera. Just do a little fast forward. Why not? Let's see here. All right. So three screws removed. This guy should be able to slide right down and off. So now we're greeted by two separate ones down here. So I do believe that one of these is for the horn. If not, we can always trace the horn wires from the engine area and then 
uh, create a little off horn, which normally people do. They have a little button that screws onto the dash or somewhere else. It looks pretty cool anyway. It's like a little relay switch, which we'll probably do. We'll just tap into the horn up top and then it'll be constantly on all the time. So even when your car is stopped, I mean, it should be constantly on anyway. It's not going to drain any battery. It's just basically like a button. That's how you're going to push it. And that's the only time it'll drain battery is if you're pushing a button. But if not, uh, we'll even give it a fuse later on. That's down later on down the line when you want your horn, if you want it. Which, do you want it? Probably? Yeah. Do you have an alarm? <laughs> do you have an alarm that goes with your horn or no? Oh, yeah, I do have an alarm. Okay, so that might be a little more trickier going into play. But we'll figure it out down the line. I know for sure of anything. So, to get the clock off, basically we just did a little, uh, little push pin right here. Pops it right out. So then this one comes out. Now this is never going to be used. So now just it's stored underneath as any other connector randomly does. Now that fixes everything there. We do have the leftover screws or actually uh, leftover stuff for horn and uh, cruise control and stuff like that. But we're not going to use that either. So now we're going to get the aftermarket wheel and attach it on there. Through here, right? Yeah. And then that has like the whole, sorry. Right it's okay. here. Bold man. Is there nothing? To like make it come out or like hook onto this, I guess. Yeah. Like this. So that's made just for the horn, there. right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's Go weird. On. Cause no, this looks no, like no, it's on the phone now, but I think what we can do is honestly just okay. plug it straight in. And then from there, grab that little doohickey that he has. And this little guy does come out through here, like so. And then all this gets screwed on to the wheel itself, which is inside of this one as well. All right, so we got a top and bottom. Now what we're gonna do is first assemble this. Now it does. All right, so we got the adapter on there. It's aligned as best as we could. Now, before we do actually pound it in and put the wheel on there and attach these bolts on there, we're gonna first attach the plastic pieces, the OEM plastic pieces. And basically, we're just gonna do what we did earlier, but in reverse and just kind of push this one up into its place. And then, of course, get that one on top, screw something down, and then I'll catch you guys when we are hammering this piece more downwards. All right, so now all the plastic pieces are on there. We get to throw on our final little touches over here. And then now what we're gonna do is knock this piece on. So simply we're just gonna get our ratchet and go a little tap, tap back and forth. Trying to get it down as much as possible. And then after that, we'll get our screw in there and make sure it's held down. I think I am gonna need an extension because this one does sit a little bit more out than our normal steering wheel. Gosh, don't you hate losing your sockets? <laughs> Where did the 14 go? All right, so I got an extra pair of hands real quick. Well, one hand in. And we're just gonna carefully start threading in. Oh my goodness. Does it not wanna go in? All right, so we're gonna tighten this down in a star pattern. Same thing just like the wheels. We're gonna start off on the top here and get it nice and snug. And then we're gonna go down here and get that one nice and snug. And then we're gonna go opposite and get this one nice and snug. Oh my goodness, the tools that they provide us. Cheap little Allen head sockets. Now, yes, they should use Loctite on this. This might come off with road uses, but this is a, uh, you know, first step into modding the vehicle. There's no judging. So, we're gonna just keep tightening down. We're gonna go in again with the star pattern, work our way from the top, and just do a whole little 90 degrees. If I can even get the thing in there. So, I'm gonna go a little bit, I guess, over, and just go all the way down. Regardless of anything, you always want to work in a star pattern. Don't over torque it. Don't push too much pressure because you want to snap anything. And just like that.
bam we've got a finished momo steering wheel with the momo attachment how do you like it, it looks so good it looks pretty legit and now it's just figuring out the horn button for later on maybe even adding some funny little nos buttons right here and anti like like a little label machine you know get some little stickers because uh this is Net one of five. yeah i know so <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, one of Ray's friends, Delusional. So he also has some LS uh, parts on this car too that are just for laughs, like the intake and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's the installation of Momo steering wheel. All you guys are going to need, well, they come with this little tiny bit right over here. 14 for the main nut harness. And also, uh, if you have a long Phillips, I recommend it. And also an E30. So just a few tools that you will need. And then obviously just a little bit of manpower to yank the steering wheel off. Also make sure that your battery is disconnected before you do any of this because it can blow up in your face. So as always guys, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. As always, stay safe and stay chill.